Secretary of Agriculture, Claude R. Wickard, says, food will win the war and right the peace. Food to feed our own people properly. Food for the democracies fighting freedom's battle. Food for Europe's starving millions when the war is over. Not just any kind of food, but the concentrated, highly nutritious foods that ship easily, store easily. Not ordinary amounts of food, but huge quantities. Far more of certain kinds than we've ever produced. Not only food, but all other farm products needed for defense. Lumber, turpentine, and certain oils for commercial use. These, too, are needed from America's farms and forests to help free men win their struggle to stay free. The American farmer is called upon to engage in the most stupendous farm production in the history of the United States. It won't require more total acres than are now in cultivation. It won't require more production of many things, even less of some but it will call for a great deal more milk. It will call for more eggs and pork and certain fats and oils, tomatoes and some other vegetables, cover crops, lumber, turpentine, sugar. But this is no time to overproduce things of which America already has enough or more than enough, things like wheat, cotton, and most kinds of tobacco. That would be national waste and bad defense. The emergency demands carefully planned production. It demands that American farms put their full productive strength where it is most needed. Farming as usual is gone. The nation calls on every farmer to use his land and all his skill for the defense of America. That means unusual farming, unusually good farming. To get the job done quickly, efficiently, and without waste, the Department of Agriculture is helping farmers organize a vast farm defense program in which your farm can help. If every farmer does his part, that program will give America what it needs from farms, in the amounts needed, and at the times needed. Production goals have been set to guide farmers in this effort. The needed amounts of all the chief products have been determined. These national goals have been broken down into state and county goals. The county and state goals have been checked and often revised by local farmers and agricultural officials to make them fit local conditions. The county goals will be divided among the farmers of the county. Every farmer will be asked to make a 1942 plan that will contribute to meeting the goals. It will all be voluntary. When the plans are added up, the nation will have for the first time in history a complete picture of anticipated farm production for the ensuing year. The full mobilized strength of America's farms will be represented in those plans. The plans and the complete production program they stand for will be the first instance that any great industry has planned to meet and fill the real needs of the people. The nation will protect farmers in this effort. Already, the national farm programs afford broad price and income support for farm families. In addition, the prices of products for which increases are especially requested by proclamation of the Secretary of Agriculture, evaporated milk, dried skim milk, cheese, eggs, hogs, and chickens. These will be supported to the full extent of funds available at levels not less than 85% of parity until at least December 31st, 1942. All agricultural agencies are ready to help farmers in this gigantic production program. The full strength of the United States Department of Agriculture agencies will be available to farmers through state and county USDA defense boards. Check your farm to see what products can be increased or maintained or reduced in line with national needs. Begin now to lay in supplies of seed and fertilizer and other things you'll need to carry out your 1942 production plans. Be ready to tell the community committeeman of your next year's plans when he calls. Begin now to carry out the plans you make. For information in planning your participation in the Farm Defense Program, see any member of your county United States Department of Agriculture Defense Board. All-out production of tanks, planes, and guns calls for new goals in agricultural production. With the help of the United States Department of Agriculture, the American farmer can meet the goals and take his place as the man behind the man behind the gun. The time is here when every citizen either makes it his business to defend the liberty America has given him, or we lose that liberty. <laughs>